my god i'm in the fucking ghetto well if you know if you know if you know why you're confronting me yeah come in i know me i know me i know me i know about them ladies put your arm put your arm put your arm put your arms around me baby okay so we're on our way to tacoma we got a hotel for the weekend we are going to be hanging out doing some pre-birthday activities because Mariah's birthday is on Tuesday. She's going to be one years old, you guys. Like, I can't even believe. I cannot believe that she is already one. But, yes, we're on our way. It's probably going to take us about 35 minutes to get there. And I'm not doing nothing now, so I was just like, you know what? Let me just turn my camera on. Let's start a vlogging. So, we just left a birthday party and her dad and the kids' dad's house and we got some starbucks i know you guys have been seeing um dana alexia she posted this chai tea latte drink on her instagram and everybody's been getting it and honestly this is like my third one and it is pretty fire honestly if i could get this with like this much pumpkin cold foam listen this shit would be hitting all the way until the end okay but anyway Mia's here with me she's not saying that this she's just like a cool preteen sitting in the passenger seat I was like okay I'm gonna vlog <laughs> I was like okay I'm gonna vlog the first thing she does was hold on
Okay, so I um I went to Starbucks earlier, if you don't remember. I bought one of those uh slices of like lemon loaf and I saved some of it because I wanted Mariah to have some when she woke up from her nap. But I left it in the car, so I'm about to run downstairs to my car real quick and get that lemon loaf because now she's awake. Oh, thank God, God my car is like right next to the elevator doors. Boom. All right, so now we're going back. This place is so nice during the day, you guys. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna show you when we first wake up and you can see the sunrise. The sun rises. Pretty dope. Pretty freaking dope. But anyway, the hotel I'm at is the same hotel that I work for. And I get discounts there. So I always stay here because it's for the low low. These rooms be like so expensive. The security holding fee is $275. That's crazy. Anyway. I took the stairs, y'all, so I got my exercise in for the day. Period. Don't say nothing to me. Nothing. Look, I'm back. Look what I see. My baby sitting at the cheesy. What's the matter? You left her. Was she crying when I left? Yes. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, hold on. Oh, let me pop you up. Hey, come here, cutie. Come here. Look. I got you some lemon bread. Look at Mariah's outfit. Oh my gosh, she got this two piece. She got her hoochie dress or her hoochie outfit today. Chill, look. Nope, open up. Mmm. You like it? Mmm. Why? Why are you so excited? Because it's almost your birthday, huh? That's why you're so excited. <laughs> no. You're so cranky. You must know it's your birthday. You must know it's your birthday tomorrow, huh? and got some breakfast for the girls they're still sleeping but i know this little one is gonna wake up very soon because it's like 7 30 7 45 and she's usually up by eight o'clock so she'll be up soon but anyway um so i just requested a jacuzzi room because when we checked in yesterday they were all sold out but the front desk said that someone's going to be leaving today out of one of the jacuzzi rooms. So there's a possibility we could be switching rooms today. So fingers crossed because my daughter really wants one of those. And Mariah's birthday is tomorrow. So I know she will. She loves the jacuzzi room. So um, I'm really excited. I hope we get to move rooms today. But it's very gloomy outside, you guys. Very gloomy and raining, but that's okay. We're gonna chill, have fun. I'm actually thinking about filming this morning, um, but if I don't get a chance to film, I'm just going to. Um, I'm gonna take some pictures from Mariah for her birthday, and uh, we've actually we gotta go to the store because Mariah needs a couple of things for her birthday outfits her photo shoot so 
we're gonna go do that first and then we'll come back to the hotel so i'm thinking maybe i'll just wait for them to call me back and then once we move rooms then we'll do her photo shoot in the jacuzzi room and i'll give you guys a tour of that because that room is so cute it's so cute but yes let me show you guys the view this is my view right now you see the raindrops on the windows it's a very cold and rainy out but aren't the trees so beautiful look at those i love the fall time so much and there's this walkway that goes all the way to the end of the building that way that way <laughs> and there's like a big dock over there Anyway, this is what we're working with today. I went to bed so late. I went to bed so late. Even Mia, even Mia went to bed so late. Honestly, it's like 1.30 in the morning. And she actually has school soon, so she has to wake up and sign into her Chromebook. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to clean up the room because the room is kind of messy. We got stuff all over the place. So I'm going to tidy up. And wait for the girls to wake up. You guys, so got a new room with the jacuzzi. I'm going to the room right now. Let's see how it's looking. I'm so excited. I know Mia's actually really excited too because she already knows what it is. She's like, yes, mom. Yes, I'm trying to do the jacuzzi. I'm trying to take a bath as soon as we get in. Alright, here we are. Yay! It's so cute. And look, it's still so gloomy out, you guys. So gloomy. Look at the water. It's, it's like rainy and windy. But anyway, here goes our jacuzzi tub. And the windows, we got the same desk, fireplace, TV. We got some more dressers though. Nice king size bed. So cute. Then I'm gonna take you guys inside the bathroom. The bathroom is really tiny, but it's cute. Here I am. I know I'm looking kind of rough. Don't worry about it. Mind your business. And the bathroom. Hi. Hi, girl. Hi. And we got the shower. We don't have a tub in here because we have the jacuzzi tub in the front. But yes, that is the tour. Now I'm about to move all my stuff and go get the girls out of the other room. She laid off. So it is Thursday the 19th and my daughter has been one for two days now. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. Um, but we had her birthday party. It was so cute. My decorations came out so good. Um, I'll try to insert some pictures of the party. That was fun. Um, and then yesterday, I just took like a whole break. I just needed like a reset day. So... Yesterday, I didn't really do much. I just stayed in the house, cleaned up, did some laundry. But I did end up doing a workout, which I was actually surprised. I ended up doing a workout at like 6 or 7 at night, which I was proud of myself. I just like had the energy. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And that's the best time. Just do it when you're in the mood to do it. It's way easier than forcing yourself to do it when you don't want to. But anyway, I got that little workout out of the way. So when I get done with my ortho appointment today, I am going to 
work out again y'all i'm trying to lose like 30 pounds i'm trying to lose like 30 pounds and i've been giving myself like scenarios in my head i was like okay so i could lose 30 pounds if i lose one pound a day for 30 days like that kind of sounds easy but then at the same time it sounds like consistency okay it sounds like eating clean and working out th 30 days in a row hashtag no breaks i was thinking even on days where like i don't want to work out i'm like i mean i might have to have just one struggle meal that day one meal and fast the rest of the day if i'm not gonna work out but anyway that's a little bit about my little fitness update so or not even update this is my first time telling you guys about it but i'll update you guys and let you know how i'm doing like next week or something but <clears throat> anyway yeah i'm just sitting in the car y'all i was like let me just turn on the camera since i haven't done anything i'm thinking about going to um ross after this and doing some christmas shopping have you guys started christmas shopping i haven't done anything i haven't even thought about a tree i did buy i did buy some um what's it called the stockings i got some stockings for me and the girls from walmart they're super cute um i got those but that's literally it i don't I mean, at this point, if my daughter doesn't mention a tree, I'm not going to get one. I'm going to put all the presents right on the fireplace underneath them damn stockings, okay? <sighs> Last year, I was, like, so ready for the holidays. Like, so ready. I went and I, I had my Christmas tree. I think I had my Christmas tree before um, Halloween last year, Lord. But this year, I'm just like, no. I don't know, there's so much going on. So much going on. I think it's because Mariah's here now and she had her birthday. And so I was like preparing for that. I was more excited about that. So, and I have, that's like a new event that I got to put in my calendar. So maybe that's the reason why. But yeah, I'll probably get a, I'll probably get a tree. Don't worry, you guys. But I just really don't want to. Um, also... For everyone who goes to the dentist and your dentist be all up in your mouth and by the time you're done with your appointment, your lips are dry as hell and cracking. I put hella Vaseline on my lips and let's see how my lips turn out when I get out of here, okay? And what color should I get? I think I'm gonna end up getting the same color, like light gray, cause that's what I'm in the mood for, probably. Anyway. Okay, I'm back, you guys. Lip check. I think I put a good amount of Vaseline on today, so my lips are not dry and crusty. I need to make sure I do that every single time I go to my appointment. Every single time. It is freezing in my car. I'm about to turn the heat on, so I hope that isn't too loud. But anyway, I got my new bands on. <sighs> I got light gray. I've been getting light gray. This is my third time getting light gray. Whatever. In the beginning, I used to get like all kinds of like cute colors and like um, neon green was like my favorite, but I like calmed down. I feel like I've matured over this braces journey that now I just get either white, black, or light gray. I'm getting my teeth cleaned in, I think next week actually. So when I get my teeth cleaned, I think the next time I'll get white bands because the whiter your bands are, the more yellow your teeth look. It's terrible. But um, so I'm going to do that next time. But anyway, my next appointment is until the 14th because um, my ortho doctor is going on vacation. So. Um, yeah, so the 14th of January, which is a 
Is that six weeks from now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's more than six weeks. That's like seven weeks. Anyway, yeah, so I got to wait a little bit longer. Anyway, I also have to wear a rubber band, and I need to be faithful wearing this rubber band every day because um, the rubber band is going to help with my crossbite, and we can't move on to the next phase until my crossbite is no longer crossed. Okay? So... I need to put my rubber bands on. Uh, these are my rubber bands, people. And these are the bands I have to wear. And I have to wear them, like, at least 22 hours out of the day. And I've been lacking. Anyway, I'm going to try to put this on. Okay, I put it on, but I don't even know if I connected it to the right tube. But it looks like that. Anyway, I'm hungry, so I just put this damn rubber band in. But I'm about to eat some food, so I'm about to take that shit right back out. And that is the struggle, okay? And I need to remember to put it right back in when I'm finished. Oh my gosh, so frustrating. Anyway, so um, I'm on my way home. I'm gonna go grocery shopping in a little bit but yeah i'm gonna go home work out um then go grocery shopping i'll probably go to uh i'm gonna go to sprouts and then i'm gonna go to uh safeway i might go to walmart too just depending on if i'm tired of shopping by then who knows but i'm definitely gonna go to sprouts because i've been like telling myself i'm gonna go to sprouts and get some food from there and I have it because it's like inconvenient. It's not as close to me as Walmart and Safeway. So I haven't been yet. But I'm going to try to do that today. I really want to get, they have these um, lobster claws that I really want to get, honestly. That's like the main thing I want to get. But I'm also going to try some of their produce and see if I, um, see how I feel about that. But yeah, I'm going to go grocery shopping. Then after grocery shopping, I'm going to pick up Mariah from daycare. And then from there, we're all just chilling at the crib. We're chilling. It's just going to be a chill day. But, um, all right, I'll see you guys later. I don't know when. Maybe at the grocery store or something. All right. Bye. Oh, my gosh. I need some, some freaking chat. Mm, these angles are killing me. Killing me softly. Okay. Mm. You need some? Yes. Okay. So, oh my gosh, I knew where's my energy? I had a I had a Red Bull when I was working out and I swear I'd be crashing. Like an hour after I have a red bull. I should, is so dry, Mom. I should probably stop. But anyway, I worked out, took a shower, y'all. Uh, I got Mia in the car with me. Oh, well, I'm not even showing you. Do you want to be in it? Okay. I got Mia in the car with me. And we're headed to Sprouts, y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I'm so tired. That workout really wore me out. That's crazy. I didn't even want to put no makeup on or nothing. I was like, let's just go. But anyway, uh, we're going to go to Sprouts. And oh man, I didn't bring my tripod. I don't know if I'm going to bring you guys into Sprouts because I forgot my tripod. Maybe some nicks and crannies. Um, but anyway. Oh, I don't have no energy for this. But pretty much we're going to go to Sprouts to get some produce and those um, lobster claws I was talking about earlier because I want to do a little seafood boil tomorrow. Man, do you, have, do you want to say anything? You're just, chill, you're just chilling. You're just letting mommy talk. There's nothing to say. I know there really isn't, but like you can chime in if you want. Alright, 
well, I'm tired. I think I might get me a coffee or something. Like, I need a little bit of an energy boost. I need a little bit of an energy boost. But, all right, I'll see you guys when we get into the store. So it's Thanksgiving, you guys, and my family, like, I just live up here with just my mom and my brothers, and we're not the most family-oriented, so this year, we didn't get it together, so we don't have, um... We're not having like a Thanksgiving on my family. So the girls are with their dad because his family is actually very family oriented and I like that. And thank God, because times like this, I don't have to like scrounge and put some shit together so it can feel family like. I can just send them over there to their dads and that's great. So I like that. So I just got a hotel room so I could film and just get away just do something so I don't feel like all low and down sitting at the house like oh my gosh I don't have any family oh so I just got a room and the girls will be over here later and I'll probably take them swimming and they'll do some fun shit so that's what I'm gonna do but before they get here or they come back I'm going to, I'm going to try to film a little try on haul. I don't know how I'm liking this hair like crimped. So what do you guys think? You like this hair crimped? First of all, this hair, I'm not even tell you what, I already told you guys where this hair is from, but I've been trying to work with it <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm not even a big fan of it. And that's the whole reason why I cut it in the beginning. But anyway, how are you guys liking these crimps? Tell me that. Tell me that. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. So I just have to fix my makeup a little. Is that better? Get this angle. Lord. So... I got a room, you guys. It's just a basic room. I got two beds because the girls are coming later with the TV. And I guess I can show you. I guess I can show you the bathroom. I'll show you the bathroom. It just has this sink and then the toilet and also a shower in there. Honestly, it's like nothing extravagant. It's probably one of my least favorites that I've stayed in as I've been hotel hopping this last um, like week. I stayed in like three different hotels. Anyway, you could say that I'm damn, I'm damn homeless. But also it has a balcony and this is the only one that's had a balcony. And this is probably the prize of it all. Look. This view is pretty beautiful. And the sun's already down and it's so gloomy, but it's still so beautiful. So yeah, I got a balcony with my room. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna drink my wine and just like wind down. My friend says she's gonna bring me some, um, ew. I'm sorry i'm sorry you guys had, had to even witness that that was gross but um my friend's gonna bring me some food later so i'll still get the essence of thanksgiving without all the rest of the stuff i got the food and i got my kids that's all i need but yeah i'm gonna try to film you guys Ugh. You know what I've also been thinking about? I've been thinking about being like more personal with you guys. I feel like I'm 
I'm not really, I don't really like tell you guys a lot like about me. You guys don't know a lot about me. I feel like I need to open it up to my channel and to you guys. Cause you know, hopefully you guys are going to be around here for a while and oh shoot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Lord. I feel like you guys are gonna be around for a while, so I need to open up to you guys a little bit. So I'm actually I'm about to try to prop you guys up right here. Let's see if I can do it. A good angle here. Okay, that's good enough. Um but yeah, I just feel like I need to open up to you guys a little bit more. Tell you some more about me. So, I'm going to do that in this vlog today. I'm going to do it right now. I'm not going to get too deep or anything, but let's just start with the basics. And I do got my... This is how you can tell I'm in a ghetto room because they don't even got glasses. They only got plastic. That's when you know you stepped into the hood. No, I'm just kidding. This isn't the hood, but there's no glasses. So that just tells you something, okay? But um, I got my wine. I'm just drinking some Barefoot, some Pinot Grigio. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to sip on this and then we're going we gonna to talk about some stuff. Let's get into it. Let's just talk about how long I've had my channel. I've had my channel for at least seven years. It's been seven years. It's been about seven years since my first video, which really wasn't even my first video because I did delete some videos back in the day, but it's been around four. I mean, it's been around seven years. And if you go back to my first video, it's about seven years ago. And... Even though I started seven years ago, I wasn't really consistent on my channel until, well, I'm not even gonna say consistent because I'm always falling off, but I didn't really start taking it seriously until four years ago. Four years ago, I actually was like trying to film regularly. I would fall off for a few months, but then I would always come back and, um, so I want to say like four years ago is really when I started getting serious. But um, honestly, between like life and just what life takes you through, because I've been through some mad, I've been through some crazy shit in the last four years. And we'll get into all that. Like um, the more I open up on my channel, you guys will get to know all the nitty gritty, the grits. Mama been through some mama been over here crawling through dirt okay lord anyway but i started being consistent around four years ago and honestly between what life throws at you and just like i do get discouraged on youtube a lot because i like i just said i started my channel seven years ago and the fact that i just hit 1k subscribers 1k in seven years and people get like a hundred thousand subscribers in two years i just seen somebody i just seen somebody talking about how they just reached a hundred k subscribers and like literally half the time in half the time so that has been really discouraging to say the least and that's how i'm that's definitely how like i i fall off because i'm just like youtube really is not doing nothing for me right now and all it is honestly at this point is just a hobby and i love it it always keeps me coming back so i know it's something that i want to do but it is very discouraging because filming getting all your equipment trying to stay up with makeup reviewing stuff like just keep it like, it's so exhausting and time consuming and when you're doing all this work and like you're getting small gratifications 
small rewards like no rewards making videos and your videos are only getting like 40 50 views like it's very discouraging so i fall off but i always come back but um i don't know youtube is just something that i know i want to do so i so i keep coming back and i love making content and filming and it's just like it's so self-fulfilling that um at this point i just feel like when my time comes my time is gonna come but i have to at least stay consistent because being consistent is the biggest part of growing and unless you're just one of those lucky motherfuckers that scooch your way or just slides right into the youtube algorithm or have some video that goes viral and all of a sudden you get 200k views on some random video you had no idea was even gonna do that well like if not it's just gonna if you if that doesn't happen to you you just gotta slowly ride that train and all I know is the more I film, the more I'm going to keep growing. Regardless, as long as I film, even if I only get 30 views that video, if I keep being consistent, it's better than the 30 views I got the last video because now you, you're you at 60 views, you know? So I just got to take the small prizes as they come. And I'm not going to grow if I'm not being consistent. I'm not going to grow if I'm not uploading, so... I'm just going to wait for my time to come. It'll come eventually. And I have been seeing some growth in my channel um, in the last like month or so, honestly, which is pretty dope. And I honestly, I feel like it's because I started doing uh, try on hauls on my channel because those get a lot of like attention. So I'm going to just keep peeping out shit, seeing what I need to like tweak here and there. I'm going to do what I can do just to make my ch channel grow but just know that um i'm here i've been here i'm gonna stay here so um yeah i'm just trying to stay positive with it all and i appreciate everybody that has been watching my videos and y'all that do comment and y'all do share and all the ones that thumbs up my video and that's great i really appreciate you guys and i need that because it can be very discouraging here on this fucking YouTube. It's so discouraging. It's crazy. And then you get to comparing yourself to other people. And that is just like an ultimate killjoy. So I try not to do that either. I might just be the one that's on YouTube for a fucking a decade before anything crazy happens. You know? Anything crazy, but... Anyway, um, yeah, so that's a little bit about, um, a little bit about my history and, um, here on YouTube. <sighs> I have been thinking about maybe doing another, uh, get to know me tag because the last time I did one was probably like, maybe like three, maybe like three years ago, around three or four years ago. I'm not sure. But I could definitely do an updated one. Because I want to get closer to you guys and just, like, connect more. Just connect more. So, honestly, I have this vlog for I don't even know how many days. And I'm like, when am I going to end this vlog? Do I have enough footage? Is there enough footage to be done with that video? I don't know. Bear with me. I love you. Anyway, if this is the end of the vlog, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Oh my God. I'm in the fucking ghetto. I love you guys and subscribe to my channel. Love you. Bye.